Hey, Nintendo, just spill the beans on the direct. All your stuff is getting leaked right now. <laughs> with this video you gotta hit that like button bro you gotta like it right now because it's about to be some fire and by the end of the video your thumb might be burnt to a crisp and so like 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 bro <coughs> we're getting a clearer and clearer picture of what's gonna be in this Nintendo Direct Nintendo needs to just announce it at this point because all this stuff is getting leaked a Taiwanese rating board has just rated Bioshock the Collection for the Nintendo Switch. Usually, usually, when these rating boards put out their ratings, they're just preparing for an announcement. They accidentally do it all the time. It's hap This has happened before. Rating boards said, oh, the rating for Overwatch, oh, an accidental um, Overwatch case, oh, <laughs> and then we get the announcement at the direct days later. And so, Bioshock, the collection coming to the Nintendo Switch, and this is a game that should run on par with the other platforms because Bioshock was a last generation series on the Xbox 360, never played a Bioshock game. I know, I know, sue me. But, the more the merrier. It's about, it's good that the Switch is getting third party, and third party developers want to support the platform. I think some of the games um, are limited by the specs of the, of the Switch, but last gen games are a no brainer to just put them over on the Switch. But with that Switch Pro coming out mid this year, things are about to drastically change on the third party front for the Switch. But it's already looking good. It's already looking good. We got Bioshock and we are starting to get a clear, a better picture of what's going to be at the Nintendo Direct in a matter of days now. In a matter of days. Pikmin, heavily rumored. Multiple sources are starting to come out talking about it, leaking information that we could be getting a Pikmin, the Pikmin 3 website just shut down bro that is a key marker that not even if it's not pikmin i think it's gonna be just how they did mario kart 8 deluxe where it wasn't quite <coughs> the same exact port as mario kart they added battle mode or whatever i think the same thing with pikmin there's gonna be a pikmin 3 deluxe definitive super duper um ant edition where they're probably going to add a couple of extra missions. Again, I said this in my last time when this more information was leaked. The only thing about Pikmin was it's a short campaign. The campaign is short. I'm hoping they add online to Bingo Battle, bro. Bingo Battle was lit, man. It's one of the best parts of the game, but it was only local co-op. But Pikmin, more than likely going to be at the Nintendo Direct, a Smash Fighter has to be at this next direct as a, an announcement and all signs are pointing to dante this isn't um confirmed yet um another source um a, a capcom a voice actor for capcom has gone on record to say that a capcom legend will be coming to super smash brothers now there's multiple capcom dudes ace attorney uh, the phoenix wright dude um, I even said Sir Arthur from Ghouls and Ghosts is a possibility, but he could have been talking about a skin, like a me skin, so we don't know yet, we don't know, I think Nintendo is still going to surprise us, it's still going to surprise us at the Direct, and so we got Pikmin, we got Smash, we also have, definitely there's going to be some 
Animal Crossing information. This is Nintendo's banging Nintendo Switch consoles moving game for the first quarter. I think each quarter Nintendo's gonna have a big something big for us. First quarter it's probably is more than likely gonna be Animal Crossing. I think second quarter is gonna be the Switch the Switch Pro. Probably a game with the Switch Pro too. Third and fourth quarter, you know they're gonna be late in the holiday season. And so um, we're definitely gonna get some Animal Crossing information. Another game that's more than likely gonna be at the Nintendo Direct. Breath of the Wild 2, bro. We got that epic trailer. It's more of a dark tone, bro. This is going to be like the Majora Mask of Breath of the Wild. Look at Ganon, bro. Ganon's a so There's going to be zombies. I low-key, zombies would be lit in the Zelda series, but every game has zombies now, bro. Every game has zombies. And so, you know what I'm hoping but this probably will take more development time. Every Zelda game had like a light and a dark world side to it. Starting from the Super Nintendo. Not every Zelda game. But a lot of games had like two sides to it. Um, Link, uh, Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. Light and Dark World. Um, um, Twilight Princess had the light and dark world. You go to the Twilight Realm um, on the 3DS. You had two worlds. You had the, sh I don't forgot what it was called, like the Shadow World and the uh, Light World. Um, even Skyward Sword, they tried it in Skyward Sword. It wasn't well implemented. You had the ground, you had Earth, and you had the Sky World, where in Skyloft and all that. Um, and so they always had two worlds to it. I'm hoping in this game, you have the Light World and then the Dark World. Everything's a zombie. Everything is scary. Everything is creepy. That would be lit, bro. Now, one thing on the Direct that I really don't think is going to happen, the Switch Pro. I don't think Nintendo's going to announce hardware at the Direct. At least, typically they don't. Whenever they're going to have hardware, they just have a separate, a separate trailer, separate announcement on its own time. So all of the information can be focused on that. When they did the Switch Lite... Switch like yeah, they just had their own trailer, I believe. I believe, I believe. Um, how did they announce the Switch Lite? Was that at a, at a Nintendo Direct? I don't think it was at a Nintendo Direct. It was their own. Yeah, it was. It was its own separate announcement. So I think they're gonna do the same thing for the Switch Pro. Then after the Switch Pro, Nintendo could chill with hardware for a bit. We had the Switch Lite last Switch Pro this year. <coughs> Give it about a three-year breathing room, three, four years, and then announce something else for us to hop on. And so, um, Nintendo Direct should be lit. Bioshock announced, well, has been leaked by a Taiwanese rating board. More than likely, it's coming to the Nintendo Switch. It happens all the time before Nintendo Direct. I mean, at this point, we should know it's happening. So, hopefully we get a Nintendo Direct sooner rather than later. I'm still hoping for a January so we can get that fire going. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch Gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime. You can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later.